I've done the calculations and just by cutting that out, you could save £416 a year. Hey guys, I hope you're doing good and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you the best tips of where you can save money at work. I guarantee there are a couple of methods you haven't heard of before which I've got lined up for you. So make sure you stick around to the end. You're going to like it. Speaking of liking, make sure you like the video right now and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are so close to 100 subs, so thank you to everybody that has joined the community so far. With all that being said, let's get into it. As you know already, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a licensed financial advisor, so if you do want professional help, you'll have to look elsewhere. As you can see, I have got my Tesco uniform on because I work at Tesco's. But don't worry, what I say in this video isn't purely aimed at supermarket and retail workers. Everything I go over can be applied to people not working in retail or people working at home at the moment. Without further ado, let's get into number one, and that is to stop buying meal deals. Despite their convenience, meal deals are eating away at your wallet every time you swipe your card. The base rate for a meal deal in the UK is around £3, and we all know that Tesco's do the best ones. Depending on where you decide to shop, they can vary from around £3 up to £4 if you're really that unlucky. I know Co-op and Sainsbury's, I think they do them for around £3.50. Either way, Tesco's are £3. I'm not just going to say stop buying meal deals and leave it at that. I've got some alternative methods which you can use. Number one is the obvious one, and that is to make your own pat lunch. Whether that means salvaging some food you have in your cupboard already, or bulk buying some food to set you out for a couple of days, making your own pat lunch saves a ton of money. Another alternative is to buy cheaper food. A good option is a classic pot noodle. There's a variety of flavours to choose from and they're no more than £1.50, even for the larger ones. All you need is a kettle and a fork and you're good to go. Speaking of cheaper food, the third alternative is by reduced food. Now, I'm no penny pinching Scrooge, but I do like a little bit of reductions, as does Ben. And if you can't stretch out enough to pay for reduced food, use what you have in your colleague staff room. Now, I know this does come in with the colleague benefits as a lot of workplaces won't offer this kind of stuff like toast and bread and tea, coffee, all of that stuff. So I'm very grateful to be working at Tesco's where they you know, offer that to us. Now, I'm going to run you through exactly what I do for my lunch breaks. <laughs> and I do this pretty much every shift. So, here is the photo of the toaster and the bread which I offer. I took a photo of that today. and You'll be seeing this video on Friday, I think, or Saturday at the latest. My lunch consists of three slices of toast, an apple, and something I buy off the reduced section. My personal favourite are the cookies, you know, you can't really beat a cookie and being in the bakery, I mean, it's on a plate for me. Anyway, this method which I have been using over the past six months has been very cost effective and has saved me a lot of money. I've got some calculations here for you and I'm going to read them out. You're going to be blown away. So on average, I work four times a week, depending on how much overtime I do. These are daytime shifts, so I do get a lunch break on all of them. And let's say I spent £3 on a meal deal on each one. So that's a £3 meal deal four times a week. So that's £12 a week, £48 a month, that's every four weeks. And here's the one which is really going to blow you away. £624 a year just on meal deals. This calculation takes into account that you work four days a week every week of the year without any holiday. But you're probably spending more money when you're on your holiday on food elsewhere or on other things. So it's quite a good average. Now I also did the calculation for if you only spent one pound on every meal. This is the budget I give myself on what I spend on reductions. At the moment it's, it's coming up to Easter time and the club card price for Easter eggs is 75p. So that's kind of my go-to, that and cookies, I know, nice and healthy. But yeah, let's say same amount of time worked each week and you only spend one pound on your lunch break instead of three. That adds up to four pounds a week, 16 pounds a month, 
and £208 over the year. This still seems quite a lot of money, £208 a year just on food at work. But if you compare it to buying meal deals, you have saved yourself £416. Tell them to bring me my money. Think to yourself right now what you could buy for £416. I know what I want. Anyway, moving on to point number two. The second way which you can save money at work is by how you get to work. Obviously this does depend on how far you have to travel to work and the weather conditions on the day. But if you know you're in walking or biking distance from work, you might have to consider it. Not only are you helping out the environment from not driving to work, you're also saving yourself a lot of money on fuel. My drive to work is only five minutes and before I did start driving early last year, I did bike to work. I can't lie, I did enjoy it. It was quite refreshing getting out and letting my hair flow back in the wind. <laughs> As anyone that currently drives does know, fuel adds up over time. Let's say you spend £30 a month filling up your car for fuel. And let's say one third of that is used by you going to work. That narrows it down to £10 a month which you pay for fuel to get to work. You spread that over the year and that's £120. And this is quite a low estimate. If you're working every day and you're driving every time you go into work, you're going to be spending more than £10 a month. But like I said, that's another £120 saved if you bike or walk or find any other means of transport to work. The third method of where you can save money kind of links into the last point, and that is by making your trips efficient. Let's say you've got a small task on your to-do list, like dropping a parcel off. Not only does it save you money, it makes you feel more productive in your day as you've got more stuff done. Plus, you've ticked that little thing off on your list. Filling up your car with fuel also ties into this. Tesco's has a petrol station, so if I ever need to fill up, I fill up as soon as I finish my shift. Fortunately for me, this is on the same site, so I haven't got to travel any further to fill my car up, apart from pulling into the bay. The fourth and final method you can use to save money at work is by using your colleague benefits. Whether that's getting a free coffee every shift or winning a free holiday every year, it's always good to make the most of them. I'm going to use Tesco's as an example again, but as you all know, there is a colleague club card. Now we get 10% off all purchases, so over the year we save a lot of money. By all means, is this video not prom- <laughs> I only put the shirt on because I'm speaking about work and you know, it kind of, it fits the aesthetic. As I was saying, Tesco's has a club card, which you can actually get as a normal customer, even if you don't work there. And yet again, I'm not blowing their trumpet, but the club card prices which they're offering at the moment are very good. Mr. Kipling Bramley apple pies are half price from £1.80 down to 90p, so get them before they're gone. <laughs> Every place of employment is likely to have colleague benefits, and you might not know about them. If you think you don't have any colleague benefits, it's always good to check up with your manager or check on your company's website, because there probably are some hidden away. Anyway guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you've taken some tips on how you can save a little bit of that sweet dough. All jokes aside, I hope this has helped someone's financial situation as not everybody is aware on how you can save a little bit of money. It can help you out a lot in the long term. With that being said, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me and it's a little way of giving back. Stay safe and go save some money. I'll see you in the next one.